Darrell Jazz Johnson here, the Gospel Herald, City Sports Report. Com. I'm here with the parents of Jared Jack, Mr. and Mrs. Jack. How are you doing today? Doing great and stuff. Good, thanks. How are you doing, man? Just fine, especially after a big win. <laughs> so so what's it like for you guys to watch your son on the court? You've obviously been doing it for a while because he's been in the NBA for a while, but uh, what do you enjoy about watching him at this state in his career on the court? After 10 years, it, I, all I can say is it's an amazing grace that you watch a, a child chase his, um, his dreams and they come true. And now he's entering his 10th uh, year. And most importantly, in addition to a successful career, he's a candidate for graduation from Georgia Tech December 13th. How, how proud does that make you, seeing his success on the court, but the fact that he's gone back and made sure to, to get that degree? Well, I'm extremely proud because it shows us that not only does he value what he's doing for a living, but he knows the importance and significance of an education. And that will take him much further in his uh, some more senior years. What are, what are some things that you instilled in him as a kid that has made him successful, not only as a basketball player, but in life and as a person? Well, basically, love what you do and do what you love. And um, look to your parents for directions. And uh, we'll stop by the church uh, at least uh, four times a month. That means four, Saturday, four Sundays out of the month. So um, as a parent, um, you do the very best that you can with the resources that you have. And both my wife and I is instilling our sons to um, uh, respect others, and you will sh should get it back in return. What's the moment that, that I'll ask this question to both of you, but what's the moment that you thought, you know what, he might have a chance at paying at a good college or even in the NBA. At what moment did you first think that? Oh, gee, I guess when we started getting all this tremendous amount of mail from, uh, from colleges and from schools and phone calls, and that was after high school. Uh, and he went into Georgia Tech, and that was such a difficult decision for him to make because of the different uh, universities that were, um, you know, after him. And uh, he used his level head and made, uh, I think, an outstanding choice in selecting Georgia Tech. Final question, um, when has your faith been most important to you in your life and, and what have you instilled in, 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 in Jared so that he, he leans on his faith, faith in, in times of trouble? Well, during our uh, child rearing uh, age back in Louisiana, uh, it, it was no choice. It was a protocol of you, you, whatever you did during the week, you had to go to attend church on Sundays and that matriculated down to our, our family. And um, Jared has um, made us very, very proud because of his, his faith in God and uh, the foundation that's been established through hopefully our guidance from, from childhood to adulthood. Throughout the season, I send scriptures to him that we can discuss and talk to when I see that he's at different highs and lows. And the one that he loves the most is to trust in the Lord with all thine heart, lean not to your own understanding. And through him, any and everything is possible. Thank, thanks a lot for your time, Mr. and Mrs. Jack. Look forward to uh, speaking with you guys during the season. Very good. Be blessed. Thank you, you too.